Maurice and Christine, it's a very busy week for the president. He set up a series of meetings with international leaders, and his son-in-law is already taking a prominent role in the administration's foreign policy. President Trump welcomed Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, and the two spoke about battling ISIS. We'll fight terrorism and other things, and we're going to be friends for a long, long period of time. President Obama was a sharp critic of Egypt's human rights record and never invited al-Sisi to the White House, but President Trump sees an opportunity to repair ties with one of the closest U.S. allies in the region. We've made great progress today. Egypt. In the meantime, the president's son-in-law and senior advisor, Jared Kushner, traveled to Iraq with the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Jared's going to specifically express uh, the commitment uh, of U.S., of the United States to the government of Iraq. The nomination will re be reported to the floor. On Capitol Hill, the Senate Judiciary Committee moves Judge Neil Gorsuch one step closer to becoming the next U.S. Supreme Court justice, but also one step closer to a showdown on the Senate floor. A partisan party line vote in the committee is sad. Uh, but it's a reflection on a brokenness in the U.S. Senate, not any problem with Judge Gorsuch. Democrats say they will filibuster the vote, and it appears Republicans will respond with the so-called nuclear option. They will change the rules. So instead of needing 60 votes for confirmation, Gorsuch will only need a simple majority. We're headed to a world where you don't need one person from the other side to pick a judge. And what does that mean? That means the judges are going to be more ideological, not less. Now, Mr. Trump meets Chinese President Xi at his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida on Thursday. He's also sitting down with King Abdullah of Jordan on Wednesday. Busy week at the White House.